Your wellness obsessed friends swear by NED IVs. Your gym buddies, they're injecting peptides. Everyone's promising better energy, fat loss, and feeling like you're freaking 20 years old again. But here's the truth. If you pick the wrong one for your body, it's like trying to charge your phone with the software update. It just doesn't work. And after working with thousands of patients, I can tell you one thing. One of these is like a battery charger, and the other one is a signal booster. The real question isn't which one's better. <laughs> That's not the right question at all. It's which one you actually need right now, which one's first in line to get you the best results. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Dr. Jones DC, and I coach thousands of patients on metabolic optimization. And this passion of mine comes from my own struggle with weight and energy for over 20 years. Now I work with medical practitioners, helping people figure out exactly this question. Is it NAD or is it peptides? And what do you actually need and when do you actually need it? Let me tell you about Lisa. She's a 48 year old business owner who had lost 40 pounds eating freaking 1200 calories a day. She should have been celebrating, right? But instead she was sitting in her office at 10 AM on her third cup of coffee, rain foggy. She couldn't focus during meetings. She was constantly cold and achy. She's in what I call zombie mode. The weight had came off. She lost the weight, but she felt worse than before she started. And here's what most people miss. Lisa's problem wasn't about the weight loss. It was about what was happening at a cellular level. Her body's batteries were dead. This is why exactly the NAD versus peptides conversation matters so much because they solve different problems. Now I know what you're thinking. Can't I just pick whichever one is cheaper and call it a day? <laughs> Not exactly because choosing the right one for your situation is the reason why so many people aren't happy with their results. So here's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna break down exactly what NAD does, exactly what peptides do, and compare them head to head across the factors that actually matter. Energy, fat loss, cost, results timeline, and then give you a clear decision framework so that you know which one is right for you and your goals. Because remember, time matters here. And if you're one of those people who can do both, I'll show you how to layer them strategically. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which lane to pick or whether you need to be in both lanes at the same time. Let's get started. So let's talk about why Lisa felt like she was in zombie mode despite losing all that weight. And to understand this, I need to introduce you to something that most doctors never explain, your cellular batteries. You see, inside every single cell in your body, you have these tiny little energy factors called the mitochondria. So think of them like a battery within your phone. When you're healthy and charged, you feel energized. Your brain is sharp and you can burn fat efficiently. But when they're damaged, they're depleted, everything slows down. You get brain foggy, exhausted, that feeling of running empty, even though you've eaten enough food. Now, here's what happens with weight loss. You lose weight through severe calorie restriction, like Lisa's 1200 calories a day. You're losing pounds, but you're not fixing damage at a cellular level. Your mitochondria are still struggling. Your body's still in energy crisis mode. The weight came off, but your battery stayed dead. And this gets worse when you have insulin resistance. Let me show you what I mean with our patient, John. John came to us taking 2.4 milligrams of semaglutide, the absolute maximum dose of Ozempic. He'd been on it for months and he wasn't losing a single pound. Nothing was happening. So we ran his labs and here's what shocked us. His fasting insulin was 28. Ideal and optimal was under five. His insulin levels were so high that his cells literally couldn't respond anymore. They were drowning in insulin. And when your cells are flooded with insulin like that, your mitochondria suffocate. They can't make energy. They can't burn fat. The medication couldn't work because his cellular environment was too damaged. Now, let me show you visually what this looks like. The insulin pattern graph shows John's problem. Insulin elevated 75% of the day. His cells were being told to store constantly, never burn. His mitochondria had no chance. And this is the pattern that I see probably in 70 to 80% of patients who can't break through plateaus despite doing everything right. The medication's there, the diet's dialed in, but the cellular machinery is too broken to respond. So here's the big picture that I want you to zoom out and think with. Your metabolism, your ability to burn fat, make energy feel good, it all starts at a mitochondrial level. You can have the best medication in the world, you can eat perfectly, but if your cellular batteries are dead and your insulin resistance is locking everything down, you're gonna feel like Lisa. Weight might come off, but you'll feel worse than before you started. And this is why the conversation about NAD and peptides matters so much, because these tools work at a cellular level, not just about appetite suppression or willpower. They're about fixing the machinery that makes everything else work. And NAD is like a battery charger for those mitochondria. It's what I call optimization medicine. Instead of waiting for disease to show up, we're optimizing how your cells function right now. 
Peptides are like targeted text messages that tell your body to build muscle, mobilize fat, or heal damage. And the question isn't really which one is better in general. The question is, what does your body need right now? Do you need the batteries charged or do you need specific instructions sent to your cells? Or do you need both? <laughs> A lot of you need both if I'm being honest. I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> now, if this cellular dysfunction and metabolic health stuff is making you think about your own situation, we offer discovery calls where our patient advocates can assess your specific needs and help you understand what actually is going on metabolically at a cellular level. You can actually use the link in the description or text us number on the screen if that's of interest to you. But first, let me break down exactly what NAD does so you understand why it might be the answer for some of you. So NAD, the letters stand for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, but I'm not gonna walk around saying that all the day, so we're just gonna call it NAD. Here's what it actually does. NAD is in every single cell of your body and its main job is to help your mitochondria make energy. Remember those cellular batteries that we talked about? NAD is the charging cable, and without it, your mitochondria can't convert the food that you eat into usable energy. They can't make ATP that's adenosine triphosphate, basically the fuel your cells run on, like gasoline for your car. Now here's the problem, your NAD levels, they decline as you get older. Research shows most tissues experience a decline around 15 to 30% from your 20s to your 60s, though the actual decline varies by individual and specific tissue types. What matters clinically is that this decline affects your cellular energy production. And when your NAD levels decline, you get exactly what Lisa was experiencing, brain fog, exhaustion, slower recovery, that zombie mode feeling. Your cells can't make enough energy to keep you functioning at full capacity. This is the pattern that I see in 70 to 80% of my patients over 40 years old. The ones who add NAD to their protocol report better focus, more sustained energy throughout the day, and they don't hit that 3 p.m. crash anymore. Within two to three weeks, they're telling me that their brain fog is lifting. By eight to 12 weeks, they're feeling like a completely different person. If that cellular battery depletion pattern sounds familiar to you, you're realizing that your energy issues might be coming from the mitochondrial level, hit that subscribe button right now because we put out two videos per week where we break down exactly what metabolic health is, how to optimize it, and we'll give you the protocols that we give to our patients. And it also helps the channel out too as well. So hit that subscribe button right now and be sure to turn on that bell. You've got three main options. First, you can take oral precursors. These are the supplements that you probably heard, NMN or NR. Your body converts them into NAD once they're absorbed. Research shows that these oral forms effectively raise NAD levels in your system with a course individual variation based on dosage and metabolism, you're looking at about 250 to 500 milligrams a day, and it'll cost you about 60 to 90 bucks a month. The timeline is about two to three weeks before you notice any energy improvements. Second option, and this is what I recommend for most people, subcutaneous NAD injections. That means underneath the skin. You do these at home, just like you would as a diabetic or on any other peptides. You inject it into the fat tissue. Small needle goes right underneath the skin, takes about 30 seconds, Injectable NAD bypasses the digestive system, and in our clinic, patients typically report cognitive clarity and energy improvements within days to weeks. Cost-wise, you're looking at around 150 to maybe 250 bucks per month. And here's the key. You can do it yourself at home. No clinic visits, just a quick injection. Boom, you're done. The third option is IV infusions. This could be 500 to 1,000 milligrams infused directly into the bloodstream at a clinic. The amount that gets into your bloodstream is the highest with IV, without a doubt. And the results can be fast, literally days. I've had people this same day have told me that they felt better. But the catch, IV NAD is very expensive. You're looking at $500 to $1,000 per session sometimes, maybe even more depending on dosage and location. And if you're doing this weekly, that's thousands of dollars every single month. Plus you have to physically go into the clinic every single time. For most of our patients, the subcutaneous NAD is the sweet spot. It's much more convenient and much more affordable than IV. And patients in our clinic report noticing improvements in energy and mental clarity within the first couple of weeks. Now, let me tell you about Nancy. She's a 60 year old grandmother who came to us losing 30 pounds and then hitting a three month stall. She was eating 1100 calories a day and her body needed about 1800. She was freezing cold all the time, literally sitting indoors with a sweater and a blanket, cloudy thinking, zero energy. Her metabolism had completely shut down. We had to do what we call a metabolic reset, where we slowly brought her calories back up over three to six week period. And part of that protocol included NAD support to help her restore her cellular energy production. The mental clarity returned, weight loss resumed at about two pounds per week. That's the power of NAD done correctly with the right lifestyle. She needed to eat more food and NAD alone wouldn't have done it. And I think eating alone would have been a slower process. So together there was some synergy there. It gives your cells the tools that they need to make energy again. Now here's something critical that I need to tell you. If you're dealing with brain fog and exhaustion, NAD might be the answer. 
but it also might not be because low energy and cognitive issues can come from a lot of different places. It could be thyroid dysfunction. It could be low testosterone. It could be chronic inflammation. It could be that you've been under eating for so long that your metabolism has crashed. Or it could be that your NAD levels have declined. That's the thing that gets me so upset when I see people promising that NAD is gonna solve your energy problems. It totally might, but it might do nothing. And here's why that matters. If your problem is actually thyroid or testosterone, taking NAD isn't gonna fix it. You need to know what you're actually dealing with before you start throwing money at supplements and peptides and NAD. This is why comprehensive testing matters so much. We run full panels, thyroid, hormones, inflammation, metabolic function panels before we ever recommend NAD or peptides or anything else, because we wanna fix your actual problem, not just guess. And look, all of this should be done under proper medical supervision, your healthcare provider needs to be in the loop on what you're taking and monitoring your response. But if your NAD levels are depleted and that's what's driving your energy crash, then the NAD can be transformative. And that's where subcutaneous forms shine. Now here's what NAD does really well. It's unmatched for energy and mental clarity. It helps with brain fog. There's promising research on dementia and Alzheimer's prevention. It supports your body's ability to burn fat by improving metabolic flexibility. That's your body's ability to switch between burning sugar and burning fat for fuel and it activates longevity pathways in your cells. But here's what NAD doesn't do. It's not a direct fat mobilizer like some of these powerful peptides are. It's not gonna help you build muscle mass or protect muscle mass, which is so important when you're trying to lose weight. And the benefits tend to plateau after eight to 12 weeks if you don't cycle properly or add in cofactors like TMG, which is a methyl donor that your body needs to keep producing more NAD levels efficiently. So if your main issue is energy, brain fog, cognitive decline, or you're dealing with severe metabolic shutdown like Nancy did, NAD should be at the top of your list with a good metabolic reset. It's the foundation. It charges the battery so that everything else can work. But if your main goal is fat loss, body composition, or changing how your body looks overall, as well as how it functions, then peptides might be the better first choice. And that's what we're diving into next. All right, now let's talk about peptides. And if NAD is the battery charger, Think of peptides as the precision tool that enhances your body's natural processes. Peptides are short chains of amino acids that are the building blocks of your proteins, and they work like messengers within your body, triggering specific beneficial responses. And here's what I love about peptides. Unlike pharmaceutical drugs that force your body to do something and come up with a laundry list of side effects, peptides work with your body's natural signaling pathways. They enhance what your body already does. And when used properly through legitimate medical channels, the results we see in our clinics are remarkable. Now, I need to be clear about something up front. Our doctors prescribe peptides through proper 503A compounding pharmacies. These are specialized medical pharmacies that make custom medications under strict FDA oversight. That's critical for safety and quality. There are a lot of sketchy sources out there selling research chemicals that literally say all over the site and bottles and products, not for human consumption. They know damn well that they're trying to get away with human consumption, but I'll let you guys figure that out on your own. If you're going to use peptides, you need to work with medical practitioners who are sourcing them properly. Now let's start with my favorite combination here, GLP-1 medications paired with powerful fat mobilizers like Sloop 332. Now you might be thinking, wait, isn't this a video about NAD versus peptides? Why are we talking about GLP-1s? Because GLP-1s are peptides. They're modified peptides, but they're peptides. They're the most well-known peptides in the weight loss space right now. But here's what most people don't realize. GLP-1s work so much better when you combine them with other peptides that enhance your metabolic function. And that's where Sloop 332 comes in. Sloop is fascinating because it works by activating cellular energy pathways. Though I'll tell you, the response varies from person to person. Some patients report enhanced energy, better fat burning while others notice minimal effects. What we like about it most is that it can supercharge the mitochondrial function as well. It allows a patient who's on GLP-1s to get into some deep levels of fasting. Now, of course, you still need to move your body, lift heavy weight three times a week to maintain muscle mass on your body. That's crucial. Sloop will enhance your body's ability to burn fat effectively during therapeutic fasting windows. When you combine GLP-1s with peptides like Sloop, holy crap, do you get an amazing effect. And when you layer in low carb eating and all the proper lifestyle interventions that we talk about, the results are amazing. This is the stack that we use in our clinic for patients who want comprehensive metabolic optimization and weight loss. The GLP-1s handle the appetite, but the Sloop handles the ability for your body to mobilize fat and enhance cellular energy production. Together, they work very synergistically. Now, I also want to mention growth hormone peptides, specifically CJC-1295 combined with IPA. These are my go-to for muscle preservation and body composition. They encourage your pituitary gland to release its own growth hormone in natural pulses. Why does this matter? Because growth hormone is critical for maintaining muscle, keeping your metabolic rate high, and helping your body recover properly. 
and as you age, your natural growth hormone level production tanks. The protocol is about 100 micrograms of CJC and about 150 to 250 micrograms of IPA. Injected before bed, about five days on, two days off. Let me tell you about Jessica. She's a 43-year-old mom who lost 35 pounds on a standard GLP-1 protocol. She felt soft, weak, completely plateaued. We ran a DEXA scan. That's the body composition scan that shows exactly how much muscle versus how much fat you have. And here's what we found. About 15 over 35 pounds of weight loss was actually muscle loss, not fat. That's a massive portion of her daily metabolism, just gone. She's burning less calories at rest. So we ended up adding CJC and IPA, bumped her protein intake up to about 150 grams per day, and we increased her resistance training to three times per week. Six months later, she gained eight pounds back of muscle and lost another 10 pounds of fat. Her body completely transformed. This is why I'm so passionate about growth hormone peptides for anybody looking to lose weight or improve body composition. They protect your muscle. They keep your metabolism from crashing. They help you actually change how your body looks, not just help you drop pounds on the scale. If you want me to make a complete video breaking down the exact protocols that we use for layering NAD with peptides, the specific dosing strategies and timing, and how we sync with them from different goals, drop a comment below and let me know, would you want to see a step-by-step -step protocols or more about when to use them? Now the question is, if you had to pick one, NAD versus peptides head-to-head -head across factors that actually matter. So let's start with energy and mental clarity. The winner, NAD in most cases, NAD directly powers your cellular energy production. If you go with subcutaneous injections, you can feel cognitive improvements within days to week. Oral NAD like NMN, you're looking for about a month, maybe longer, and the energy improvement is just not as dramatic. Now, peptides can help with energy indirectly through better recovery and sleep, but it takes longer for you to notice those changes. If brain fog and exhaustion are your primary issues, NAD is gonna win in this category in my books. Now, fat loss and body composition. Peptides, no doubt, no contest. Peptides like GLP-1s, Sloop-332, or even AOD-9604, the combination directly enhances fat burning and metabolic function and promotes muscle growth or muscle preservation. NAD supports fat loss indirectly by improving your metabolic flexibility. That's your body's ability to switch between burning sugar and burning fat for fuel. And research shows that NAD supplementation can improve insulin signaling as well, of course, though, individual responses are going to vary. So here's the bottom line. For most people, subcutaneous NAD is the optimal NAD delivery method. Better than oral, way more convenient than IV, and you can do it at home. NAD wins for energy, mental clarity, and anti-aging. Peptides win for fat loss and body composition. The question isn't which one is better. The question is which one matches your goals right now. I know this is a lot to implement on your own. If you want our team to guide you through this personally, figure out whether or not you need NAD peptides or a combination of both, help design the right protocol for you, book a call with my advocates. You can use the link in the description or you can text the number on the screen. They're gonna take the time to get to know you, your specific goals, what you've already done and where you wanna go. And they're gonna lay out a foundation for you of what it's like to work with me or my coaches or any of my clinical staff. If you guys wanna see a comprehensive dive into my favorite fat loss peptides, check out that video right there. All right guys, we'll see you later.